YouTube Alliance Against Corporate Censorship. Oh, baby, it's like a groovy little thing that you should get into. Right on. Now we are the sword boy. I want to put the box up here. That's me, Max. Hi folks, bear with me, I'm just really exhausted from overworking myself. But I saw this video by EdgyDTV, which is about something very important, and I realized that I needed to get a video out about this myself and do whatever I can to spread this message. But I'm too exhausted to get up out of this chair, let alone get dressed and get on camera. So I'm just going to show you some of my home videos while I talk. If you know my channel, then you know I have a lot of videos about censorship, especially lately, coming from both governments and from mobs. And this video is going to be about corporate censorship. More specifically, Stix Hexenhammer 666's YouTube Alliance Against Corporate Censorship. Like Facebook, Twitter, and other platforms, YouTube has been enforcing a bias, using everything from deleting accounts and demonetizing videos and channels, to filtering and gatekeeping to making seemingly innocent changes which seem to be implemented in a biased way. The accumulative result being deplatforming of videos and channels that challenge the views that the leadership of these companies seem to have. Let's be real folks, there tends to be multiple establishments in competition at any given time, and political establishments are just one kind of establishment. Within the media, there are also multiple establishments, so you have the right-wing propaganda, along with some actual news, and then the left-wing propaganda, along with some actual news. When it comes to social media and video sharing sites, all the big ones have a very obvious bias in favor of the whole politically correct, progressive, you know, regressive, left, quote-unquote liberal, democrat, feminist, and LBGTQ plus thing, but only if the LBGTQ plus part conforms to their script, because dissident LBGTQ plus voices are frowned upon, censored, demonetized, and well, you know. Dave Cullen on his channel Computing Forever put out some really good videos about this stuff in recent months, so I recommend those, and probably Sargon of Akkad, I think. Ever since I made my first Everybody Draw Muhammad Day video, my, <laughs> my YouTube channel is banned in Pakistan. And I think after the last Everybody Draw Muhammad Day video that I did, which is highly critical of Turkey, it's been banned in Turkey too. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that I regularly get death threats on my Everybody Draw Muhammad Day videos. Some of these I can understand, some of these not so much. But you know, YouTube doesn't care. Oh, they care about your hurt feelings if you're politically correct, but <laughs> if you draw a cartoon and people threaten your life, oh well, fuck you, you're not politically correct. And if you want a good laugh, go to my Everybody Draw Muhammad Day videos and scroll around <laughs> and look at the angry death threat comments. It's pretty funny. Some of my videos have been demonetized because, YouTube says, controversial content that is not advertiser friendly. Bullshit. Demonetizing videos for content creators that rely upon monetization <laughs> is a form of censorship. It's just a sneaky backdoor way to do it. With me, the videos that are demonetized, I mean, that means that I make about five cents less this month than I would. So it's not really censorship for me. But in principle, they shouldn't do it. But anyway, folks, Stix Hexenhammer 666 is championing this YouTube alliance against corporate censorship. I highly recommend clicking on the first link in the description below to see Edgy DTV's video about this subject because it's a lot better than mine. It's more informative and more entertaining. In fact, stop watching my video and go see his. Just, just go now. I mean, Stop watching mine. Why are you still watching? Go. Go, go, go. No? Okay, well, click on that right after this video. Then click on the links below that link and see Sticks Hex and Hammer 666's videos, multiple videos, on this subject. Below that is the list of the others in the Alliance. The idea is to weave a safety net of support. A support system. You, my dear viewers, should check out all of these channels, subscribe to those you like, click on the little bell icons to be alerted of their new videos, and keep this list handy because YouTube may unsubscribe you without telling you, denotify you, and otherwise just fuck things up. And so if you like a channel and you're thinking, hey, I haven't seen a video by that person in a while, go check out their channel because you may have to resubscribe and you may have to click the little bell icon again. Now, just because a channel is on this list, it doesn't mean that all the YouTubers on the list agree with their views. You see, this used to go without saying, but it's now a foreign idea to a lot of people, fucking idiotic people. 
but it's wise to support the freedom of speech even for views that you disagree with. Because so many people, almost all these people being millennials, the 40% of millennials who are against free speech as we saw in my video, are hostile to free speech these days, those of us who actually stand for freedom and equality are standing for the rights of those whose views we do not necessarily agree with. You know, it's like John Lydon. The other day he comes out and he says that he thinks Trump has a lot of faults, but he doesn't see anything to show him that he's actually racist and that it's not good that people are lying about Trump being racist. And then suddenly the headlines are all, John Lydon supports Trump. No, he supports personal integrity. And if you have that, you are honest, even about your enemies. That's honor. Having personal integrity is always potentially rebellious, and it's the exact opposite of a collectivist. You know, supporting group rights over individual rights, identifying as a skin color, a gender, an orientation, a political affiliation, you know, being obsessed with identity politics because you do not have an identity or a sense of self as a self, as an individual. So we, the YouTubers on this list, in this alliance, do not have to agree with each other to support each other's rights. I'd rather support an honest and honorable person that I disagree with than a dishonest and dishonorable person that I do agree with. If you have a channel whose views are being censored in some way and you want my support, let me know. But check out all the channels on the list, EdgyDTV, Sticks Hexenhammer 666, and also I want to plug the channels Truly Liberal and Pythos de Gaios. They deserve more viewers. All right, folks, so scroll down, click all the clicky thingies. Cool? All right. Dix Hexenhammer ist sehr gut. Und das ist mein Schund, Tabitha. Ich sprechen Sie Deutsch? Nein. Nein, nicht sehr gut. Okay, so now I'm a Nazi, right? Because <laughs> I spoke German, I guess. Danke für das Aufpassen. Frieden, Liebe, Freiheit und Gleichheit. <laughs> Hey folks, uh, I just need to tell you, you, you forgot to say that you all should get a, a Minds.com account. You see, it's like Facebook and Twitter and whatnot, without all the advertisements, and you don't get censored or get spanked and kicked off the thing for saying something they ain't like. So get yourselves a Minds.com account and subscribe to Justin and Tyfus, and he'll subscribe to you. Thanks for watching, folks. Oh shit, here comes Peppy Duck! Ha 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 ha!